Hi everybody! I know that many of you are exhausted, worried about what's happening with Shaga. We know that it's going to be sent to the prosecutor's office this week. That's what the police said. At this stage, I kind of just want to highlight how classy Shaga has been the last several weeks. I know, I feel like that's the best way we can honor his music and his art and the contributions that he has made in Korean music, in our lives. Um, I also want to start a conversation on ethical journalism and what we can do to change it. Now, I just want to make something very, very clear. I will never condone hating an entire country or an entire race based on the actions of the few or even of the many. And that is exactly what's happening here. It's just there are few gossip writers parading themselves to be journalists who are starting this negativity, bullying, lying, blackmailing. But it does not represent the entirety of Korea. I have been to Korea so many times and I've had nothing but great experiences. The people that I've met, spent time with, have been compassionate, generous, friendly, very, very loving, and you will never convince me otherwise. I also have a Korean community here in the US. I love them. I have come to know their quirks, their idiosyncrasies, their beauty inside and out, and I will not have them any other way. So I hope that we all understand that everything that we see in the media, specifically the gossip writers, those do not represent the sentiment of the entirety of Korea. And that definitely does not represent journalism in Korea. Okay? Alright, if you ended up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, And uh, share the video if you can. On to the video. It's not always easy to take the high road and it doesn't come naturally to a lot of people. There's just a certain amount of satisfaction that comes with putting people in their places and suing them to poverty. So when I see someone elevating themselves above everyone else, even though they can take everyone down, it makes me admire them even more. That's what I'm seeing in Sugar right now. As we all know, he is being treated like a criminal for merely driving an electric scooter while drunk. When he went to the police station for questioning for God knows what, he faced the media through the photo line even though he could have rejected it. Photo line refers to a line marked with yellow tape in front of the prosecutor's office where the person officially summoned for questioning or examination in the case of a warren for detention stands for a while for a photo or question and answer session. It is very similar to the yellow tape police line demarcating a crime or an accident scene, which bystanders are not supposed to cross. The photo line in South Korea was introduced by the News Photographers Association in 2006 because of the overheated competition to get better pictures of suspects, mostly political or economic big shots. Suga has apologized twice, in writing and twice through the press, despite not having damaged anything or anyone. Is it a business move to be humble more than it is a moral calling? That is beside the point. At this point in his career and life, he doesn't need to work anymore. He has enough success under his belt and all the money he can ever spend. More importantly, he can continue producing and writing, something he loves doing anyway, if he ever steps away from the limelight. Yet, he chooses to apologize. Four times. For driving a scooter 500 meters while drunk. Nobody got hurt. Nothing got damaged. Is this a cultural issue? Koreans are known for being perfectionists, for being critical for having quote-unquote high moral standard. More serious crimes have been committed where actual damages to properties and human beings were committed by celebrities. Yang Yun Sok, the founder and current producer of YG Entertainment, was actually proven guilty of threatening and coercing a young woman to change her statement in relation to one of his artist's drug use. He was sentenced to six months and is now managing the careers of eight girls. He never apologized. 
Sungri, a former member of boy band Big Bang, was proven guilty of abusing women, taking videos of them without her consent, and pimping them. He spent 18 months in prison after writing a non-apology apology letter. Let's get closer to the case. There have been more severe cases of DUI by celebrities. Korean singer Kim Ho Jung admitted to a hit and run that happened in May in Gangnam, Seoul. CCTV footage showed a vehicle hitting a taxi and speeding off. Kim Ho Jung initially denied that he was driving the vehicle but later admitted it. His manager actually was the one who wore Kim Ho Jung's clothes and appeared at the police station to falsely say that he was the driver of the vehicle. The manager also removed the black box memory card of Kim Ho Jung's vehicle. Kim Ho Jung surrendered to the police the following day or 17 hours after the incident. He was not charged for drunk driving as the prosecution concluded it was difficult to estimate his blood alcohol level at the time of the incident since he fled the scene and surrendered the following day. Another case is ex-Pittsburgh Pirates infielder Jung Ho Kang. He was suspended for a year and has to perform 300 hours of community service over a series of drunk driving cases. Actress Kim Seron hitting a transformer box and attempting to flee the scene. Police wanted to conduct a breathalyzer test on her, but she requested a blood test to be done at the hospital. Due to the crash, electricity of 57 nearby stores and homes was cut off for roughly three hours. In April 2023, Seoul Central District Court ruled that because she confessed to the crime and attempted to compensate for the damage, she would be sentenced to a fine of 20 million Korean won or about 15,200 US dollars at that time. So is this a cultural issue? If it is, shouldn't Yang Yun Sok not be allowed 100 miles within any girl. Sungri should still be in jail. Kim Ho Jung and Kim Seron should be in jail. So, yes, it is cultural, just not the one that they like invoking. It isn't about superior moral standards. This is about gossip writers' culture of bullying, sensationalism, and the need to destroy people because it's the only way they could feel useful. Because all on their own, they really have nothing innately good to offer and contribute to the society. Blood on the Hands of Korean Gossip Writers South Korea's criminal law actually prohibits publishing information on suspected crime before official charges are filed. This is to prevent undue public attention and judgment, especially with the possibility that the internal investigation may find insufficient evidence and the case could be dropped. Yet the police and the media have actually violated this rule. When Parasite actor Lee Song Kyun was suspected of drug use and other crimes, the police leaked its internal investigation to the press in October 2023. The media and eventually the public called Lee a hypocrite, a drug criminal hiding behind the image of an ideal dad. They didn't care that Lee tested negative in multiple drug tests. They didn't care that he was a victim of blackmail. Before his last appearance before the police, he requested it be kept private and his request was denied. He was paraded to the press and they were more than happy to shame him in the guise of journalism. He was found dead days after. Kim Garam is a 16-year-old girl who debuted under Hybe with Lesser of Him. Just months into her career, someone came forward accusing her of bullying when they were in middle school. The media branded her as such, a bully, determining she was guilty before a trial. Unless she can prove otherwise. They determined she was unfit to become a role model and doesn't deserve a chance. At 16, she does not deserve a chance. There was no regard to the fact that she was a minor being accused by another minor. There wasn't any intention to find the truth. They just wanted a villain, and they found one. Public outcry 
Many, if not all, of Koreans find this excessive owing to the fact that almost no one knows it is illegal to drive a scooter drunk. Even the police was actually confused with the laws. Many also feel that since nothing and no one was damaged, this should have been a quick and clean case. But gossip writers chose to cater to the other side, the ones who hate, many of whom don't even reside in Korea. As per the police, they will turn over the case to the prosecution within the week, but irreparable damages have already been done on all parties, to Suga, to Korean media, and to the police. But through it all, there is only one party who has maintained his class, and that is Suga. Before we go into ethical journalism, I just want to acknowledge what armies have been able to do the past several days. Many of Suga songs and BTS songs, old songs, are actually back on the chart. And I think we just should we should just continue pushing for that. Stream it if you have the funds, buy it. If not, just continue streaming that. But we're back in iTunes charts, uh, Apple Music, Amazon, and Spotify. Of course, let's not forget who. It is currently the only BTS member song that's in Billboard Hot 100. Let's keep it there for as long as we can. So let's continue streaming that song. Um, and it seems that Jungkook is going to release something. Maybe it's a single. Maybe it's an album. We don't know. But let's continue the momentum for Jimin. Um, okay, now for ethical journalism, I would love to start a discussion on how we as a community can actually encourage ethical journalism. I've made a commitment to start uh, a, a, an online news site, magazine site, and I am continuing that. Um, but I would love to get your idea, like, ideas like for us, how do we start encouraging ethical journalism i feel like we started something with this incident in sugar we refuse to engage when any with any kind of article that is negative that's just full of lies that's just click baiting we managed to actually take them out of the top 20 or top 30 in neighbor you can hardly see them you won't see them unless you search for them uh, we've started remembering and writing down names of the journalists that we know are questionable that we shouldn't engage with them and also listing down names of journalists that we know are credible because there is this one article uh journalist that a lot of people mentioned we should engage with because he is actually good so maybe we can start a discussion uh especially for those that are following me on patreon let's uh go to the community section and just share our ideas on what we can do with that. And um, I'm very close to finishing the website for Asian entertainment and, um, and culture. And I think, you know, I hope that I can contribute into making a difference. I, I hope that I can make a difference or help make a difference in terms of ethically treating uh, artists and, of course, art. All right. <laughs> hope you enjoy that. Um, I hope in the next video, it's going to be more positive. Uh, let's take care of our mental health. <laughs> so if you ended up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And of course, share the video if you can. Also, subscribe to me on Patreon. I do have a free tier. Uh, also, subscribe to me on X or follow me on X or on Twitter and also on Instagram. Thank you. Till next time.